Jesus who is enthroned as the representative of God the Father, Revelation 5 1 14. Welcome to Water and the Spirit Podcast. A Bible study episode on important subjects by Paul C. Jong. Jesus, who is enthroned as the representative of God the Father, Revelation 5 1 14. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll, or to look at it. So I wept much, because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll, or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to lose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp, and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll, and to open its seals. For you were slain, and have redeemed us to God by your blood, out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Then I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and riches and wisdom, and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, I heard say, Blessing and honor and glory and power, be to him who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb, forever and ever. Then the four living creatures said, Amen. And the twenty-four elders fell down and worshipped him who lives forever and ever. Exegesis. Verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. It says here that God the Father had a scroll sealed with seven seals in his right hand. Our Lord Jesus Christ took this scroll held in the right hand of the Father, meaning that Jesus was given all authority of heaven. Verses 2 to 4, Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to lose its seals? And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll, or to look at it. So I wept much, because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll, or to look at it. There was no one, except Jesus, who could judge the world create the new heaven and earth, and live in it with the saints as the representative of God the Father. Verse 5. But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to lose its seven seals. Here, the phrase the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, underscores the fact that Jesus Christ is the Almighty God and the King of Kings who is worthy and capable of completely fulfilling the Father's plan. Jesus Christ is God himself and the representative of God who will fulfill the Father's plan. Verse 6 And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Jesus Christ, having received all authority over heaven and earth from God the Father, is the Almighty God who created all things. He is the one who came to this earth in the flesh of man, received all the sins of the world, and died for these sins to redeem us from all our sins. Verse 7, Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne because Jesus Christ was qualified as God, he could take the scroll from the Father. This means that from then on, our Lord would carry out all the works of God. Verse 8, Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb each having a harp, and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. This means that Jesus Christ will act for the Father as God, whose first task proffered by the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures was the prayers of the saints. Verse 9. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll, and to open its seals. Semicolon for you were slain, 
and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Here, Jesus Christ is being praised by the ministers of heaven after becoming God's representative. The ministers of heaven praise Jesus Christ for saving sinners on this earth from the world's sins. While on this earth, Jesus was baptized by John and died on the cross to save sinners from all the sins of the world, and he ransomed these sinners for the Father by paying the wages of sin with his own blood. This is why the ministers of heaven are praising the righteous works of the one who has become their God. Verse 10. And have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Jesus Christ, who became the representative of God the Father, turned the saints into the people and priests of the kingdom of God, and made them reign over it. He was thus even more worthy to receive all glory and praise from the ministers of heaven. Verses 11 to 12, Then I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. To receive power and riches and wisdom, and strength and honor and glory and blessing, because Jesus had taken upon all the sins of the world on his body with his baptism by John, he could bleed on the cross, and for this he is worthy of receiving power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing from all creatures in heaven as the one who represents the Father. Surrounded by the ministers of heaven and its angels, he receives all their praise and worship. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Around the throne of God were the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders. They praised God who delivered all the souls from sin, for His glory is endless. Verse 13 to 14. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, I heard saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be to Him who sits on the throne. And to the Lamb, forever and ever. Then the four living creatures said, Amen. And the twenty-four elders fell down and worshipped Him who lives forever and ever finally, Jesus Christ who became the representative of God was raised as the one worthy of receiving all praise and worship from the ministers of heaven. All the ministers of heaven gave him blessing, honor, and glory forever and ever, for it was the most amazing and thankful that God would be so worthy. All the saints both in heaven and on earth must give glory and honor to him who is enthroned as the representative of God the Father. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.